Right, welcome back. We know people are tired of hearing about COVID, but with new variants, the flu and RSV, health experts are warning us to be extra cautious. Now let's take a look at the positivity rate here in California. The latest update has it at a little more than 5%, but that is rising. And in San Francisco, it's at about 6.1% also rising. Now we went back to a clinic in the mission that has been there for almost two years. They continue to be in the Latino cultural district in the city offering free vaccines and testing. The Latino task force is still in this community helping working families. Even though we want to continue to recover, we want the uh, economy to do well, but we don't want to forget about the disparities, the health disparities that COVID really pull the, un the covers off. Yeah, this week they showed us that even two and a half years into the pandemic, many are still using their services. Now, I want you to meet Maria Malak, who woke up early th in the morning this week to get her COVID booster. Maria Malak was due for her booster. This clinic here, Unidos en Salud, United in Health, was convenient. She came with her husband before he had to be at work in the area. Cada vez que hemos venido, nos han tratado bien. This is considered to be what's called a low barrier site. They don't ask for an ID, it's free. Information is printed in multiple languages. The site offers COVID vaccines, including the bivalent booster. They also have flu and monkeypox vaccines. Maria got her booster and flu shots ahead of the holidays. And she's not wrong. CDC graphs show flu hospitalizations are surging in the U.S. COVID positivity rates are rising. This site is hoping to prevent vulnerable communities in the Bay Area from being hit hard by the flu and COVID. Yeah. And the positivity rate. I think that's really important. 14 percent. Yeah, 14% is very high. Retired nurse Dion Jones admits not as many people are coming in to get tested for COVID. Many are relying on those at home rapid tests. But still, from the people who are coming in, that 14% positivity rate is a sharp contrast to the city's 6%. They say messaging continues to be essential. The fact that now that our vaccine supply is a little more reliable, uh -huh. you were able to push out texts to our, our list. That I we have. received a text, yes. And we did over 553. Vaccines, vaccines amazing over three days governor gavin newsom's office announced the covid state of emergency will end in february of next year dion fears what could happen to this site's funding after then but they say they're hoping to work with the city to find a way to extend that time we want this community of essential workers to be protected because they're the ones who are the most vulnerable que dios me lo bendiga a todos this site has been here for almost two years, and the people here continue to work toward closing disparities that continue to be present. Yeah, and it's not just the Latino community. Statistics can be found on the California Department of Public Health site. The black community also disproportionately impacted. That's not new, but important to continue talking about this. Now, this is 